Hey guys, thanks for clicking on my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning supporter of mine, welcome back, awesome person. So today I decided I'm going to play with the Nomad palette that I won in Andy Does Stuff's giveaway. I did use it the other day, but I didn't record that day and I wanted to record it today. So it's not my first impressions. Um, I did use those two colors last time but before I do that I'm gonna put some of my skincare on today is Monday I am getting ready for work I hate Mondays just started working on them I think this is my third Monday we are training a new girl and I think she's ready um, but I don't know, like, she personally doesn't ever want to work by herself, and I don't know why. Like, especially on Mondays, um, it is, like, really, really slow, and we don't really make that much money, especially having to split it two ways. And I don't know when the owners are going to feel comfortable enough with letting her do it herself but I really hope it's soon because at the moment I have Sundays Tuesdays and Thursdays off and that sucks like um, I like to have at least two days off if I have more that's fine but I do like those two days to be back to back so that way I feel like I get more stuff done with two days off back to back than if I have to do it every other day because it's like the first day off, um, I like to be lazy, you know, catch up on sleep if I'm tired or whatever. And then the second day, that's the day that I do all my running, get my shopping done, get things done around the house that needs done. Like, so, um, I am hoping, I'm hoping really soon that I won't be doing Mondays anymore. So she, I think she's doing great, but we just had a busy weekend. We had the truck show in our area and the truck show is where a bunch of semi trucks get together and show off their trucks and how nice they are. And then they have like, I can honestly say I've only ever been to one of the truck shows because that's just not my thing. I don't really care. Um, about looking at semis my husband and boys have went and left me behind which is perfectly fine because I'd rather have it that way I don't mind working the truck show we were super busy not as busy as I remembered it like I am realizing that I just got to quit remembering what it was like when I worked there before because it's different times like I don't think it has anything to do with the owners but um <clears throat> I just think it's the people because like, I think, I think since the COVID-19 hits and, um, you know, what was it a good, like two years or something like that where, you know, you had to do social distancing and people weren't going out as much because places were shut down and they had to learn how to have fun, um, without actually they had to learn to have fun without actually you know depending on going out to restaurants or to bars or to um i don't even know like you just you just really couldn't go out in public right so i think people like like that now because we were really busy this weekend and this weekend for the truck show reminded me of when i was really busy like every weekend when I used to work there and that was way before COVID hit, I'm just deciding to grab. So I just decided to grab my, um, makeup brushes and instead of looking for all the ones that I have <laughs> already, uh, must, my box is wet, the bottom of it. So so I know I haven't spilt anything and it did rain the other day. So there must be a leak. And so I'm going to have to check that out because that's not cool. 
Let's see. I don't want to do too bright of a look today, but I do want to use this palette because I really, really enjoyed it. So I'm going to go ahead and use this color again. And this color is, I can't even tell you what it's called. I feel like they're in a different language and I can barely speak English, let alone a different language. But anyways, the truck show was pretty cool. Um, got to meet a lot of people that I've never met before. I got to see a lot of people that I haven't seen in a long time. And then them realizing that I am working back at the bar. So that gives me hope that they'll start coming in and um, we'll get more business. I really do enjoy working at the bar. I have a lot of fun. I just don't think we need as many bartenders as we do. Um, you know, starting off with two is fine, but letting one leave, you know, at like 11 or, you know, something like that. Um, 11 or 12, if we're not that busy, is what I wish we could happen, but the new owners don't because yeah, there is the, there is the chance that we'll get, you know, busy, um, depending on the night, you know, the last hour or so, because that does happen. Sometimes people will come in at one o'clock, but I feel like an experienced bartender can handle it, especially if that's all they're doing is making drinks and they don't really have to, you know, worry about cooking and all of that good stuff. That's a pretty color. You can barely see it, but I like that color. That is a base color. So the video that I just recorded a couple of days ago, um, for the love of God, I couldn't remember what the hell it was. What I was like, I put that on for, and I'm like, uh, I'm not sure what we call it, but I remember today, today it is a base coat. Isn't that funny? Let's see. I also think that I want to use this color right here. And I want to put that over here. I do like to use multiple colors. I see though, and I don't know if it's just me, but I've noticed um, that a lot of people on Instagram are going back to wearing like one color. And it's fine. It's probably a new trend or something, but I am for one. I'm definitely not a trendy person. And for two, um, I do wear one color sometimes, but I've always been a colors girl, so I like wearing more than one color. Riri's puppies are six weeks old, and I'm going to be getting, hopefully, um, in the next couple of days, I gotta go get eight starter shots that you can buy at a uh, like quality farming country or something like that tractor supply or something you know hopefully they'll have enough if not i'll probably have to check out both of the stores but i want to get them um get them their shots so that way um oh and i want to deworm them i don't i haven't seen any worms and their poo but i mean it's a possibility i always like to deworm them before i sell them um but then after i get the medicine to deworm them and then get their shots and um then i'm gonna put them up for sale we've got i believe we've got four dogs that have blue eyes well three that have blue eyes and one that has a blue and a brown eye it's so cute and speaking of dogs i know you can't see them because i'm standing right here but you hear them walking in like literally every big dog can you see them I'll follow this way. I'll come. See? I don't know why. They don't need me. They The door is opened so that way um, they can get out and use the bathroom while I'm doing this. I think that I want to use. Um, let's try this shade right here. I don't know if this brush will work. Looks like it's picking it up. Oh yeah, it's okay. And then we're just gonna lightly put that in there and bring it to the darker spot. I still like color, but 
I have noticed that I don't really care for such bright colors anymore. It's so weird because in six months, I'll probably go back to liking bright colors again. And I don't understand why I do that, why I change so much. But at least, you know, at least I'm being different, I feel like. Those two colors go really well together. I almost feel like maybe the one side's not bright and or dark enough now. That was right there. Oh well, I'm leaving it. I never wear hardly ever, um, unless it's purple, where the because like my shirt has green in it, and what's it say? It says lucky. Um, I have the name Shamrock in the bar that I work at, so, so um, I bought this shirt at Goodwill like like eight, nine years ago. I wore this shirt. <laughs> it's, I don't know if anybody's noticed yet or not, but I wore this shirt before when I worked there because I thought it was funny. I do have a um, hoodie that the owners gave to me. I'm going to buy a couple of t-shirts so that way... Some days I can just wear the t-shirt, you know, um, around. I don't know if I'll ever wear it to work, but I don't mind advertising. But my hoodie, ugh, the hoodie is amazing. I got it a size bigger. Normally, um, like in sweatshirts and stuff, the size I am right now, I'd wear large. But my hoodies, I like to be really baggy on me. So I got it in an extra large, and I don't disappoint because the other day, it was a little chilly out, and I wore my hoodie, and it was perfect. I absolutely loved it. So, I may even buy another one of the hoodies. I'm hoping they get some different colors. They said they weren't, but a couple of other people had um, oops, had mentioned it. And so, since other people have mentioned it, I'm hoping that uh, they'll listen. And when they order some more... Um, if they order some more because they still do. I mean, they bought a lot of shirts because we've sold a lot and then they just brought some more over for um, the truck show weekend and we sold um, a lot then too. And so I guess depending on how many they have left, but if they do, they do get different colors. I'm definitely going to buy a different colored hoodie, but I will own like five or six of the same hoodies if they're comfortable. And especially if it's advertising the bar that I'm working at, then hell yeah. And they're super cheap. They're like only $35, which normally to get the quality of hoodie that, um, they have, uh, it's not like it was raining for a minute, but it's not. <laughs> I'm here in my fan, which would have sucked because my window's down on my car. I would have had to run out and get it really quick. But anyways, um, because of the um, quality of hoodies that they are, normally those hoodies go for like, um, oh, what is it? Like $65, $75. So I'm super surprised that they were able to get some really good quality hoodies for only $35, which is great because it's not going to break the bank at all. My eyes, I hate it that this shit, and it don't matter. I can use, um, I can use these ones and it makes my eyes water. It's just super annoying. I think I'm probably just going to be done with fake lashes. I just don't know how do you guys do it. The girls that wear lashes, like, um, the, um, normal eye glue. Like, if I use the magnetic lashes, then it works so much better. But unfortunately, lately, whenever I wear the magnetic lashes, they're irritating my skin. So, I don't know if they've put latex in them or if it's just because my... Um, skin is just so sensitive, but so magnetic lashes ain't working. And so I went back to wearing, um, this regular lash glue and I feel like the lash glue is horrible. Don't matter how long I wait, I can't seem to get it tacky. And that's the reason I quit the last time. And then either it's too wet and I don't want to sit on my eye the right way or I wait too long and the shit dries up and I got to start all over with some more lash glue and it just takes forever. It takes forever. I've even watched a girl, you know, she like 
used the same glue that I was using and she um, put the glue on and she let it sit for like two minutes and then just popped it right on her eye like it was nothing. So I'm just going to have to make do with my lashes. They're not too bad. I have um, ran out of my lash serum so I'm going to buy some more because I shot... Uh, because that stuff actually works, but you just have to keep using it over and over and over again. Because if not, then it's, you know, ridiculous. Um, I want to try this OPV blush. Um, I tried the bronzer. The bronzer, I don't never bronze when I go to work. So we're not going to do that. I'm going to clean my blush brush off. But I did want to try this blush. I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. Let's see. Hopefully, let me get a mirror so I can see. Hopefully, it won't be that bright. Oh, that's not too bad, I guess. I don't like a lot of, um, I don't like bright blush. I don't like it too dark, you know. I know some people do, and it's perfectly fine, but I don't like it. I don't mind my cheeks being a little pink or peachy. Um, I did wear the orange blush that one time and I haven't haven't worn it out yet um probably would have been great to wear it today because I got like an orange eye look going on but whatever just gotta put a little bit of highlighter on I'm using my Ofra Nikki um it's by Nikki Tutorials and Ofra and then I will be all set I haven't really been wearing lipstick because it's, um, I think it's so dry at work. I just lick my lips because I thought it was because I was thirsty. So I've been making sure I use this cup right here and I drink like three to four of them a night at work because I'm there for 10 hours and, um, it's not that I'm still doing it. We do have the air on. And so I think that because the air is on and it's just really like dry in there and so I've been using a lot of just lip oils. So anyways, I am done for work and I actually have like 10 minutes before I got to leave because I waited till the very last minute to do this because I hate Mondays and I hate going to work on Mondays and it's going to be so boring and I'm not going to make no money and I'm just looking forward to having my Mondays off again or working them by myself. Now, if I was working by myself, it'd be a completely different story. I love working by myself. I work Wednesdays by myself, and that is the only day. I absolutely love Wednesdays. I look forward to Wednesdays. Um, Fridays and Saturdays, I work with two to three other waitresses, depending on what's going on or what the owner feels like, how she feels like scheduling it. Um, and Mondays, it's always two. So I'm hoping I don't have to do Mondays very much longer but okay i'm just whining at this moment Alrighty, i do hope that you enjoyed this little get ready with me work edition hope you have a wonderful day remember that i do love you remain awesome and peace out awesome perp mm -hmm.